Welcome to the 2022 FRC season, and this year's challenge, trying to complete a full season in the middle of a raging pandemic. With more Greek letters than frat row at ASU, we find our robots stranded on the tarmac after their flights were cancelled due to rising case counts. They decide to get some sweet gains while waiting for the Southwest help desk to actually help. Robots start the match in quarantine after experiencing a possible exposure and may be preloaded with an at-home antigen test. During the first 15 seconds, the robots can properly dispose of the swab and leave quarantine if they test negative and take a PCR test for added insurance. During the remainder of the match, the human drivers stand behind their plexiglass shields to prevent the spread of aerosol germs. Robots collect antibodies and can waste them in the logo or pay tribute to Kobe with a step back three. Points scored in either goal count toward a ranking point, so I guess the low goal isn't a total waste. Launch pads ensure that opposing robots must stay at least six feet away to maintain proper social distancing. Robots may use either end of the field for a human player to drop off their groceries at a contactless pickup. As time winds down, robots climb up some repurposed monkey bars, which is way more terrifying given this sport's history with gravity. The higher a robot climbs, the more potential energy it earns. An alliance that generates enough jewels is rewarded with a ranking point, and a very relieved pit crew. The alliance with the most points wins. Good luck, teams. Have fun. Stay safe. And remember... Gracious in victory, professional in defeat. Amen. <sighs> Feels good to say that again. Human players should not reach past the purple plane. They could get hurt, or worse, get a penalty.